just don't don't worry about this one now. Um, uh, Brad, could you change cameras? Let's look at one of those sensei scrolls that he gave me. Uh, some of you never saw that one. Uh, Aikido, Japanese can write both ways. Uh, so uh, the reverse way, Aikido, yeah. Uh, there we go. Uh, that one hangs in my kitchen. Um, he gave me another one that was Aikido the other way from left to right, uh, but one of the students borrowed it and lost it. So uh, it took me a long time to figure out the back and forth of creation because uh, I didn't have that second scroll to remind me that it's this way and it's that way. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, uh, Brad. Okay. Uh, what did we do last week, Brad? You're the rememberer here. What did we do last week? Give me a. a uh, what did we do last week? We went I, last I, week was balancing to feeling better. Oh, okay. Getting balanced to get to a better level of ourselves. Uh, okay. Anything on that? Uh, insights? Uh, uh, raw, raw stories since last week. Uh, problems? Anything on balance to get to a better level of you, to feel better? Basic, basic, I think. Yes. It's me, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hello. Um, I found that this, um, balance to a better place I realized that I had to do it really fast I didn't have time to take a long time to get balanced and um, the way I did it when I when I had had the time I got myself balanced and it took me a little while I was chanting and um, and then I invited self be more present to show itself and once I did once this happened once I'd made that contact I I I chose from then on to invite self to be here now present for me and I found that really helpful because at times of pain I want that support right right away so that's my report on working with that. Yeah, for for Danny, I think it's uh, well for everyone, but speaking directly to Danny, uh, for you, uh, uh, because of the healing thing that we need uh, to have that sense of self as being present here, not an idea floating around up out there someplace. But as Osensei said in one of his writings there, uh, it's here and now, right where you're standing, it's here. But it's at first dimensionally finer here, and then through the manifest finer dimensions, domain, return is domain of self. And so talking about that self, uh, making sure it's positioned here, and it has an aliveness itself, aware of itself. It's alive with itself. It's my my words, and uh, and there'll be a core radiating thing as a second reference. That's why we do core work in the manifest as a reference. That eventually there's a self alive core radiating, and having it present in the here and now uh, uh, seems like the healing effect because it's inner so it manifests radiates oh sensei's word there's emanate it emanates out uh or through the uh, let's keep it simple emanates through the energy body that's there you continues to emanate through the physical body there you and even affects the world you're you're in so that inner sense radiating out 
especially for any kind of healing that we may need. Is that sort of okay? That was kind of yeah. important. People, if there's something there that wasn't clear, feel free to jump in. Well, I'd like to add that there were distinct feelings. And one was in my spine that it seemed to soften and everything around it, like the rest of my ribs. Maybe that's kind of like it carried an energy as well. And my breath just became... Um, not sure how to say it, but I've never. It was, it was very clear and soft and so pleasurable at that time. Thank you. Uh, okay, maybe and this is a maybe. Maybe, of course, you're going to be aware of some physical things changing, like your breath or some kind of adjustment in the spine or something. Uh, maybe. Uh, don't lose that ongoing presence of that self radiating. Uh, meaning I don't want you to get, oh, 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 and you're suddenly back out into the heavier manifest and lose this presence of self. Did I say that? Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Oh. Got it. Uh, maybe so true okay <clears throat> oh let's see uh susan on oh yeah she's on i saw i saw the name susan yes sensei i am here okay uh, did you, I, I believe you had something you wanted to say to Autumn? Autumn's on tonight. Yeah, hi, hi, Autumn. I actually, um, I, two weeks ago, that you, we ended the class and you had a question. And do you remember now what that question was? A place beyond the center point. Uh, Autumn, could you please speak up a little bit? Sure. Um, my question is about a place beyond the center point. Um, it, it seems like as there there's sort of an emanation and we begin to move through that in that kind of domain or that realm that there there may be something more. Yes, you're right. Um, I, I think the way I heard you ask at that time, it sounded like you were maybe asking about the development of the self in the self domain and how that, how self develops. Right, yes. Okay. Did you figure that out? Uh, the question itself? Uh huh. Uh, sure. Um, I don't remember what it was because it was two weeks ago, honestly. But um, I imagine it was something to the point of this responsibility to the self, how it develops and how it shifts, um, how a person views themselves. There seems to be um, kind of a great energy of change in in the work as well. If you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. Very good. I, so it's less of a question and more of a statement at this point. I apologize. No, I, yeah, I, I think I wanted to follow up because um, I think we had to end the class um, and I wasn't quite sure if your answer was or if you your question was answered fully at the time because I know it was at the very end of class a couple weeks ago. If I talk to Naomi, mm -hmm. uh, Susan, so answer her question with your words. Well, I can, Autumn, can you restate the question? No, Susan, take it over. Oh. 
So if I, if this is Lauren, if I could interject, Autumn, if you could please dredge up your question from two weeks ago, just to remind Susan of your wording and then she uh, can yeah. respond. So the, as we're experiencing the responsibility of self to itself and kind of going deeper with that, um, the energy of change comes about as a, a a really, um, I guess, intense chaotic energy as you get even closer to the center, into the center, into the center. And um, part of my question was, as that continues, it seems to emanate. And as that emanates, it shifts. But um, I guess, I think at the time, I was probably curious about how to maintain it without um, coming off as like, super intense or always maybe in survival mode, if you know what I mean. You got it, Susan? Yes. So have you found that, um, you know, and you, that question may have been answered a bit with last week's session with, you know, finding that sense of balance. So when you're playing with the self and you're having that, intensity, you can still continue to find that level of balance. Yeah. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay. So, Ian. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Autumn. Yeah. Um, so, if I heard it sort of right uh so things in the manifest we did balance heavy duty last week to feel better you continue finer finer through the manifest or find faster forms of hitting a self in the domain that certain patterns continue like balance even in a domain you can use balance there for development well since they would say the texture in the domain might be a bit different, but the, those uh, uh, many, most of the main uh, formulas, practices like balance continue. Okay. So, for example, I stress a lot uh, because there's a tendency in the manifest to be aware of, but not to have enough experience. Okay. Plenty of circle, but not quite enough center. Another way of saying it. Uh, and so you notice when we enter the domain, I stress again, the aliveness itself is feeling about itself. And when you get more harmony of the awareness of self and the aliveness of self, the core begins to naturally show. And that em emanation thing happens a bit easier. So, blah, blah, blah. Are we okay there? So, Sensei if it's autumn again can i reiterate yeah. that and you can tell me if i'm on track here the the patterns show up repeatedly right it's the same kind of thing um and as we learn to balance those energies either of the circle in the center or the up and the down um however that's manifesting with the pattern that we're using or the uh the the game that we're using then there's a deeper sense of core there. There's a deeper sense of self. And even if those patterns still repeat, that that is still where we're headed. And that you want to kind of continually find both a circle and center, yeah. almost in balance with each other. Yes, uh, those center circle are big time important. Now you said up and down. That would be good work for the center. But if you want to do it better, it's center and circle and circle and center. Then you get like, I don't know, say both worlds, uh, both aspects creating a character, which in finer, uh, in, in the domain, after we get through finer, you get to the domain. And so the self sense of itself will be better. And if you want to play there, with a circle, center, center, circle, 
that will help the self to uh, feel itself more, to be more present, da 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 da, which would be a warm up for anything next. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, as long as we're chatting away here, anybody, anything on anything, anything we said, anything we're trying to say here? But yeah, nothing. Okay. Um, check my notes. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Tonight we talked, uh, we, we uh, see if I'm on the right page here. Yep, this is the right page. Uh, forms, release, forms of release. Ah, <clears throat> so great, great drawing, right? Uh, so for, uh, let me put another little liner on this guy. So let's say this is Bobby in Bobby's world. Okay. Uh, now for him to develop dimensionally, uh, he has to, in some form, release from Bobby and Bobby's world to be able to shift, to have this movement through into a finer level dimension happen. Okay, so uh, I'll throw out some of the ones that are historical for, for me. Uh, easy, easy Bobby, easy, easy, easy. And then there'll be another level there. Okay, and maybe you'll have Robert, for example. Okay, uh, clear, uh, clear from that level of you <sighs> brings you to another level of you, where there's more uh, finer energies accessible, <sighs> your position better, more settled with that, uh, letting letting go. You're hanging on to stuff. Let go of it. And there is a kind of a settling and dimensionally finer and the next mix. Who are you at this level kind of thing? Uh, using a dark down, it's downtime, dark down. Uh, it's akin to nighttime. And then there'll be the next daytime. Okay. A bigger timing. There'll be the uh, winter, autumn, winter downtime and the spring, summer, the next one. Okay, so, uh, so easy, clear, letting go, down dark, gravity. Uh, are, are we sort of okay so far? Uh, I want to ask what words or sense you might have, but let me continue for a little bit more here. What if, <clears throat> One problem might be that we personalize the words and we may be interfering. Okay, here's a sense. Uh, my mind is muddled. I got to clear. Well, a muddled me is going to have a bit of trouble clearing, clearing because I'm muddled. Okay, I might be like fighting myself trying to do that. What if we take the approach that those are not personal words? like clearing, like could we take the approach that clearing is just, I don't know, a force, a movement or something. And it's just clearing, 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 clearing. Sense of clearing, a feeling for clearing. And then next level, who are you? So we're moving from one, one floor to the next floor, meaning from one dimension to a finer dimension, from a physical bob Bobby to more of an energy Robert or something like that. Is that, that okay? So where, where am I, where am I? Uh, personal. Um, are, are you following this, that we may be creating a little fight with ourselves, personalizing certain words, like uh, uh, 
you know, letting go or gravity. Um, gravity is natural. Okay? It, it just fell. Okay. If my IQ is 60, you know what? It falls. Same speed. If they measure it, it'd be the same as somebody with 140 IQ. It'd be the same. It, it's natural. 180 IQ, whatever the hell that is. Same. Okay, so it's a natural. It's not, well, I got to be smarter to do this. I got to really understand gravity so I can let go of this pen and it'll fall. Uh, easy. It's a, a force. Come up with a word. It's a natural happening, let's say, to see if that can take the pressure off of I got to figure it out and I got to do it. No, oh, me, I don't think I can do it because I'm trying to clear and I muddle. Da, 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 da. Uh, so does that mean anything that potentially not personalizing it, some, something like a natural happening, a natural force? Okay. I don't have to do anything for nighttime to descend upon me. <laughs> and I don't have to do anything for the daylight to happen after eight, 10 hours, whenever it happens. Okay. It's, it's a natural. It's a natural. Does that help us any? Can we do anything with that? Are you following me? Sort of, kind of, maybe, I hope. Yeah. Got a couple of nods out there, so okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how to do this. Should we? Uh, it's good if you're going to practice to stay on one form, one style. Like if you're going to play with easy. Uh, then you should play for that period of time, whether it's five minutes or 15 minutes or whatever. Easy, easy, easy. So it'll bring you someplace, okay? And easy, continuing easy. And after a while, it'll bring you to a better place, okay? But I wouldn't go easy, and then the next one is downtime, and then the next one is let go, and then the next one's gravity, uh, I don't muddle them that way, but to practice here for a moment, we may have to. Okay, everybody, I don't feel like standing. Let's do it here. Uh, well, hell with you too. Uh, easy. Okay. Easy. So I'm sort of what, talking to myself, talking to these forces, don't know the words yet. And here's Nado. And here comes a force called easy. Easy. What's the flavor of that word, movement, natural happening force? for you, easy, easy. For example, for me, this descending feels soft. Easy, easy. And there's an inherent sense there of kind of an effortlessness. So of course it's called easy, it's sort of effortless. Oh, oh, okay, the experiential insight, easy. Easy, easy. So what? In a certain way, I'm not telling my physical system to be easy. Because I don't want to create a fight, but my heart is still beating too fast or too loud or something. Uh, that it's just a force called easy, easy, easy. sense that brought me to a level and at that level at 
to that one pass of easy. Then I might want to check myself at that level. And somehow or other should be somehow better than my starting place. Better how? I don't know, calmer. Uh, give me a dumb example. It's just easy. Okay. I feel more settled. I feel calmer. I feel not so na 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 na. A little more ah here here. here. We got a game going on yet? Okay. What was your sense of the force called easy? I told your mind felt softer, but ah, but ah. What was your sense of it? Open mic. Sensei Linda Eskin here. Things um, seem to slow I had, down. Sorry. Who's on? I sorry. For Lauren personally, things slowed down. That was my quality. And now we have Linda Erskine as well. And Linda says Eskin, sorry. Uh, yeah, my sense was that uh, I could stop trying so hard and let things be as they are. Yeah. Okay. And then that's where certain phrases come in. It is what it is. <laughs> you know, somebody profoundly threw that out. And we said, oh, wow. <laughs> there it is. Whoa. Okay. Somebody else? Disentanglement. Disentanglement. Yeah. Yeah. There's a sense that in our, uh, uh, all along the way, in our earlier set, we're entangled more. And we're trying to disentangle. That's another word. There's unwind. We're wound up into Bobby land or weird Bobby land. Yeah. And unwind from that to get to a better level or untangle from that to get to a better level or let go of that. Get to a better level. Okay, so you get a little flavor for easy. What's my next one? Clearing. Okay. Here I am. Da, da, da. So I, have, I feel myself for a moment to give myself a reference. I'm starting here with whatever I feel and whatever thinking style I have. Okay. And clearing as a force. It's a natural force called clearing. Clearing. Again, force is clearing. Interesting, I already noticed clearing for me is different than easy. Easy was soft. I, I don't feel that style of softness in the force called clearing. It, and it seems more white. <laughs> White. It seems to have a, I don't know, a stronger sense of itself. Not that it's uh, strong, but it, it seems to uh, for for me, if uh, easy had it was more a little more feminine, this is a little more masculine. If I could use those words. And let's continue. Easy. Here comes a force called clearing. 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 In for me, a definite different flavor than uh, the easy one. Again, here comes a force, a natural happening called clearing, clearing.
for me. This is interesting for me because the clearing, uh, suddenly the next character was there pretty distinct, uh, much uh, stronger, fuller. I don't remember picking up with, uh, with easy, a, a strong, distinct, or even a distinct character. But with this one, it was very boom, boom, there. We'll see what the hell that's about one day. Uh, anybody on clearing its flavor, how it affected you, whatever the words are here, clearing. Danny here. It's yes, very assured. It's very assured of itself. And okay. Go oh, somebody. Clearing. Clearing. Mike here. Piercing. I missed the word. What? Piercing. 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 Okay. Interesting. We do, do know piercing is a one form of cutting through dimensions as your spear move. Okay, so it has a symbology be, behind it. We won't go into that, but yes, piercing. Interesting. Somebody on uh, again on on this word clearing. Sensei Linda again. For clearing, I had a sense of of um, potential or readiness, like almost a waiting in the wings to go into something new. Yeah, that's sort of what I felt with this strong character that was here. Like it was ready to go. We'll see how that's about. Ah. Noah, don't you sit there and look at me, say something. Uh, sensei, mine was a sense of permeability that things could flow through me, out of me without any resistance, kind of like a permeable membrane. Okay, like a my word would be a permeable passing through dimensional walls or floors or something. Yes. Uh, okay. All right, moving along. <clears throat> letting go, letting go. Uh, again, with the sense that we're at different levels hanging on, okay. Uh, See, so it's not just the heavy levels that we hang on to. Uh, um, the old days of Aikido, we noticed when fifthons were the old day fifthons, uh, that it was hard for some of them to continue to develop because they were so good at that rank. To let go, to move into the next level, it was a bit difficult. And we saw that, we had those phrases about that go down, go down or something, or you're sort of finished potentially there. Uh, anyway, different story. But you want to play with letting go, letting go. Okay, starting out, I just have to establish myself. I'm hanging on to a bunch of stuff, much more than I'm even aware of. And I don't want to study all the stuff I'm hanging on to. I did that once in my early years, though, that, that style of... of Flipping away, I'm hanging on to that. I'll clip that and a balloon would float off. Oh, I'm hanging on to that and I would clip that string and that balloon would float off. So I, I did play with these uh, different styles, <laughs> probably in a stupid manner, but there I was. Letting go, easy. Whatever it is, not go, let go, let go, let go. Me, there was a sense of being a free falling. It scared me a little bit. There's a little ding, ding, ding in the back. Okay. Easy. You're hanging on that, though. Let go of it. Let go. 
And let go is a force, a natural happening. Let go. For me, one interesting was in letting go and feeling I was hitting the next floor, my, my words for the next dimensional set. I feel to be very round, circular, a big uh, definite globe or bowl, uh, globe. I, I didn't get anything like that with the other two. What's that about, I wonder, we'll see. And again, Whatever you're hanging on to, whatever you're tied up with, whatever you attach yourself to, ah, let it go, let go, let go. And let go is a natural force, a natural happening. Let go. For me, it's the word gravity came in there, this, this sense of falling a bit, I, the sense of gravity was also there for me. And one more easy, whatever, you're hanging on, let it go, let go, and letting go is itself a movement, a force, a happening, and it's natural. It's natural, let him go. For me, for example, I don't feel that strong character that I felt with the other one. Uh, I feel more like this round globe thing, as if that's my body, this round field sensation that I'm having here. Huh. I wonder what that's about. Let's see. Somebody letting go, what would that do for you? Yeah, this is Amy from Florida. Yes. Um, Florida. Uh, yeah, it was freedom. I sensed freedom. And I, I sensed like wings in the back of me. And then my heart began to open. And, and at the end, it was power that started coming through. Letting go. Let me paraphrase. So the heart that's there can show. And you said wings? Yeah, first it was freedom and then it was wings. I could sense in the back of me like wings opening up. And as they opened up, then uh, my heart became available. There was like an emanation from my heart. Your angelic and... beingness. Excuse and me? It's your angelic beingness. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the wings were white, weren't they? Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. The, your wings were white, weren't they? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, anybody else on letting go? Letting go, letting go, letting go. Yeah, Bob, so I, had, I had a sense of, of as if I had been tethered, say, to a spaceship or something, you know, out on a spacewalk. And then all of a sudden, I'm released out into a, a vast dimension, a vast sense of space. Okay. okay. And you notice that in all my motions, I go down. Okay. So 
whatever, be a little careful in vast space up and out because we don't want you to lose the beingness, the body of who you're going to be as you go finer and finer, the uh, aliveness of yourself. So, uh, so and anybody I would suggest we could open up up there and then open and float up there. And that's nice. I've been there, done that. It's cool. It's beautiful. But you, you're missing half of the thing, which is the experience, uh, the uh, presence experience. Uh, when you get that, you get this. But this alone sometimes misses that. And if that begins to show, you won't recognize it, maybe. It'll scare you, maybe. What a shame, because you've seen so much and so much more and so much, how beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And suddenly this thing may come at you, so to speak. It'll probably look black or dark. You won't know what the hell to do with it. We go through the dark and realize the dimensions are full. They're all here full. It's not up is good and down is bad. We don't play that game. Don't play that game. It's a stupid misunderstanding. Okay? But I'm going to heaven. If I go down there, it's hell. No, no, no. Don't play that game. Don't get sucked into that. Okay? When I said, they said here and now. He meant here and now. Okay? Anyway, I diverge. Ah, uh, thank you, uh, Steve. Dark, let go. Dark, down dark. Okay, nighttime, winter time, dark time. Ah, easy, easy. Whatever I've got, I'm, I'm in the light world now. I'm in Nado's world, okay? It's okay, it's fine. Now, here comes a natural happening, downtime dark. It's a force. We're playing that it's natural, that I don't have to personalize it. Being that any of these will touch a base, a floor, and then the next hot of it. So I'm still doing that form, doing that form with all, all of these. Again, here I am in the light world. Yes, hey, 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 everything's fine. Nighttime, here comes the dark, it's natural. It's a, a force, for lack of words. It's a happening, easy, dark, dark, down, dark. If we're just looking at this dark thing, we might not get its flavor with itself. It's feeling with itself. I mentioned this a few weeks back. Again, here comes the dark, and it's feeling itself, for lack of words, it's feeling itself as dark itself, a natural happening. Okay, by doing that, I felt in the dark or felt the dark feeling uh, uh, very restful that it's uh, very strong for me, this restful thing. Huh. Remember, if you're feeling things, you understand them better. If you're just looking at them, uh, you might guess right, so you might be right 50% of the time just uh, explaining what you're seeing, 
But when you're feeling it, experiencing what it's experiencing with itself, you can get pretty damn good there. Okay. Your percentage will get closer towards the 100 percentile, where I'm just looking at it, trying to figure it out. Questionable, questionable. Okay. Last one, easy. Just in the light world here. What comes a time, a natural happening, down, dark, lack of words, feeling itself down, dark, experiencing itself down, dark, deeper. And it's kind of beautiful there on the reef. For me, it was interesting, the down, dark, and then I, I get an overlay movie there kind of thing. Or what's that? Uh, uh, Noah, maybe you've got it. What's that? We have some saying about a water lily or a plant, something about dark and then da 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 da. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, that's it. It's the uh, lotus, which starts in the deep mud and breaks through to the surface of the pot. Yeah. Uh, and, and as I was feeling this down dark, that, that story imprinted on me. I'm like, yes, just like the lotus does, and boom. And for me also, there was this woo, whatever this next thing was. It was beautiful, whatever it was. I, I could feel the beauty. So how nice the dark trip was to have such a, beauty thing be present here it was really uh kind of exhilarating <laughs> see even i can be exhilarated uh somebody dark where'd you get out of dark sensei i felt as if my spine was going deeper into the earth first and then i had a sense of a magnetic quality, of a broader magnetic quality that somehow was permeating through the body. Okay. And just to remind you, nothing wrong, just to remind you that I wanted to depersonalize a little bit here. Okay. Okay. But, but just the flavor I wanted at the moment. So nothing wrong, nothing wrong. All right. Go ye and do whatever you're doing. It's great, fine. <laughs> uh, hey. uh, somebody on dark. This is Linda. Linda, I you're on a roll, go. I felt a drawing as the soil draws. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. Roots. So this not is Linda that. Morris, Linda Morris, oh, not Linda right. Miskin. Linda okay. Morris. Bang, you, Linda. Uh, yes, the next Linda. Yes, I'm sorry. Say again. I felt a drawing as the soil, the dark soil draws the fresh roots. That's what I felt. And probably if you continued, I'll, I'll make this up. But it'll show the deeper of that, the fruit is becoming compost and adding to the life of whatever, the, the tree that dropped the fruit or whatever. I, that's my suspicion of what would happen next. Yes, it feels whatever. very fertile. <laughs> whatever. Okay. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> And one last one on dark, somebody? Sensei, the other Linda, Eskin, again. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I had a sense of dark being cool, soothing, um, healing, private, like uh, not closed in in a claustrophobic way, but in you know quiet, small way. 
Yeah, that's why I mentioned to uh, uh, to not personalize was I was afraid somebody would they personalize. Oh no, I'm, I'm 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 whatever. I don't like being in a tight dark place. Get me out of here. No, it's 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 not personal. It's a natural force. When nighttime happens, you don't say, "Why is it doing that to me?" I don't want it to turn dark. And you know what? It turns dark. You know what? It's very restful. And you know what? Once you are sort of okay with it, you wake up refreshed, reinvigorated the next day, quite likely. <laughs> okay. So I just want you to get a, a, a have us get a better sense of anything that is of, of the uh, downtime or trading, trading group especially the dark, because it has such a bad rep and it's really a big time major. Okay, so just file that away. It, it, you might like the clearing one or the whatever, whatever, uh, but do keep in mind that dark is, uh, uh, is big time and I don't want you to be scared if it shows itself. Uh, when it's time to move on, sometimes, and you've got, whoa, this is really neat. Could be a dark time right then to say, there is more, let's move along, and it'll show in a dark form. Don't want you ever to be afraid of that and misunderstand that. Because historically, not just historically, but up to this day, it uh, has a bad rep. Anything dark welling up from under has a dark rep, a bad rep. What a shame because it's really not, it's an original thing, very original. Try, I could go back, uh, uh, but it's getting past my pay grade of when the original dark happen, happening happened. Uh, a little bit past my pay grade today, but I'll say this is big time. Learn whatever, hang out with it, not to be afraid of it, okay? that is part of the pattern of dark to light or uh, winter to the next summer, nighttime to daytime. Uh, let me take a break and rest and maybe a quick nap and boom, I'll be reinvigorated. There it is. Okay, so get comfy with it, not just the concept, but again, that feeling what it's feeling for lack of words. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I think we covered quite a few. Yeah. That do us anything? <clears throat> Any comments on that? I was wondering about whether in taking it personal, we get in our own way. Like if and sometimes pur purposefully. I may be an, an idiot Bobby, but I like Bobby. Now you're telling Bobby to clear and let go from Bobby. I don't want to, I like Bobby. You tell me he's an idiot and I sort of believe you, but I like him. Hey, I've heard that before. Okay, so I want to get into a fight there. Want to make things easier. They should be easier, simpler. Okay. See, even uh, going down one level from a Bobby to a Robert, you've all been there. So that gets pretty easy. Settle down, better floor, a ah, couple of pumps here. Ha, ah, there, I'm ready for the next technique kind of thing. Okay. Uh, so we did one little movement there, one, one, one little line. Oh, shouldn't we be able to go through the whole universe to the domain, the inner finer of all of this, where the, the self that's sort of wrapped up in there, okay, and is covered by the character and the identity, that as we do this, the self that's there can find an extricate from that wrappings of manifest, realize self and self in the domain to continue to get the fuller of itself. 
Okay. And then we'll see. Where the hell are we? You better talk to me, people. I'm running out of words here. Since this is, go ahead, Mike. <laughs> it's okay. Um, well, one of the things I was just going to uh, observation. This is the fastest session I've ever had with you. The time has just absolutely, oh, it's, it's like changed dimensions. This hour has gone through unbelievably fast, and I've maintained a. Um, a very nice alignment in my body. My back has remained straight through the entire session. Not because I've been trying, there's been no discomfort, but just focusing on the words that you've put out. Yeah, um, it's been quite a shifting experience. Time goes by when you're having fun. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. So, yeah, the, the manifest creation, uh, and we got involved. Uh, <clears throat> There's better ways to do it, but so be it, it happened. Uh, and, and in that involvement, yeah, yes, there was a self, but he got wrapped up as he spun in and spun in, so to speak, and is covered, okay, he's coated. Uh, and basically, we're just trying to unwind we're using certain tricks like balance get balance balance helps bring you to the next level see we did balance to feel better but it's feel better and that becomes a doorway to the next dimension ah where it's the next set of you that's bobby robert example or a one by two by three by example Okay, uh, that we're just uh, want to unwind and so that we can quickly here extricate the self that's bound in as it unwinds, the self gets a bit clearer on itself to the point where self in the domain can happen. Okay. So when I use the word self, I don't mean Bobby says, oh, you mean myself? See, we use that word, unfortunately, uh, too soon, okay? Uh, Hawaii, you don't say my, myself. They use that phrase a lot, don't they? Gina. Gina. Where did she go? She disappeared on me. Ah, uh, he's here, Sensei. Just a moment. I'm here. I'm here, trying to unmute. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard when you're old school, Gina. It's hard. I yes, <laughs> I like big dark. You know, I love it. <laughs> Very welcoming to me. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> uh yeah. Use it. Use it. Use it. I do. <laughs> Uh, I, I forgot what I was going to dialogue with you about. But anyway, um, oh, just this basic here, uh, this uh, unwinding and using different tools, whether it's balancing and different tools there, breathing as balancing reference, chanting, ya yu ya yo, mommy mu memo. That's a balance there. Better the balance better the character and in the character is the self okay as we get finer and finer the self gets clearer about itself okay but eventually we want to self into the domain of self we want to be clear of the wrappings of manifest Some cool work can go on there. Okay. Self. Even that first stage, self in the returning domain stage. So we're asking 
Danny, make sure you got that lined up because it has healing capability. Uh, mentioning to Autumn, Autumn, you set this up. You want to do something with that in the field that you're in, actress theater, whatever you're playing with there. And you want that there. You set that up to be there. Interesting experiment. Interesting. See what will come of that. But cool things can happen there. Okay. Anyway, and all of us, <laughs> cool things can happen. Uh, I don't know all the potential of uh, the variety of things that can happen. Okay. I know uh, 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 Lauren, uh, yes, Gucci, the first the Gucci, the old lady. Is yes. She a title or a name? Um, Nauha. Nauha. That's I, her name? I think that was her name, yes. Or now maybe just now she was born a peasant and so she had a very simple name oh okay <laughs> well this old peasant lady who was the sort of the original founder of um, uh of that omotokyo omotokyo that de Gucci picked his name up from he was this yes. but she was at this uh, level of uh self in this domain uh, she was a pretty cool seeress. Seeress, did I say that right? Yes. Seeress. And I think she was the first attraction that started to draw people in. She was positioned with that ability. The organization got very big, uh, so she was probably pretty cool. Uh, okay. I don't know her or any stories particular about her. I just knew that she was first in this lineage okay. anyway just using her as an example of what kind of cool things could be done uh, self in the domain position everything there boom there's a lot of whoa 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 it's the beginning of real emanations no sense it emanations yet uh so her, her name was now de gucci Oh yeah, now and, and and yeah, now yeah, I knew that. Brain cells are going now, yeah. And AO. Yes. Now. Yes. Uh, anyway, so uh, a lot of cool things can go on. Uh, sense is very much in agreement there. Oh yeah, a lot of cool things can go on. <laughs> So whatever your style is. Uh, Autumn, you said something about pushing on it or something like that before. I, I thought I heard you say that, something like that. Uh, this, this doesn't push. It just is, and it just naturally radiates. It, it doesn't have to push out there. It, it's, a, it's a natural kind of happening. Just touch the core of self in the domain and boom, it's a natural happening. Don't have to beat up anybody. <laughs> it's a natural happening. Okay. Yeah. As Osensei went further past this, uh, this is where he'd say, I don't have to do anything. You know, I just stand here and they're sucked in and they fall down kind of thing. He said, I don't have to use my arms, but if I don't show you certain things, you won't know what I'm doing. So I'll, I'll do these arm movements. But he said, I don't have to use my arms. <laughs> Just do it for you guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't have to do anything because the natural, at this level, the more natural balance harmony of things begins to happen. Okay. We even got a little case of that. It should be anybody in Aikido or whatever your other, other arts are. When you uh, when you move from your Bobby to your Robert, wh whatever you call that, from your bad day to a fair day to a good day, you notice certain shoom, blendings happen easier, whether it's in music or with somebody. 
God, we just clicked <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, and just continue with that, 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 that at Osensei's level, where it was so natural, amazing things, unbelievable things would happen. The happening at this level, that's how it should be. <laughs> Well, blah, blah. I think I'm diverging or cracking up over here. Uh, say something, or I'm gonna take a break out here. But go ahead. Lie to me. Well, sensei, maybe that's the, as far as we go tonight. Maybe somebody has something more they want to say. I have a quick thing. This is Linda in San Diego again. Um, just thank you for this whole session. This seems like something, um, somehow I can grasp this. This one seems like something I can take home and play with. You know, a few of these have, have kind of, but, uh, <laughs> But this feels like, like I, I mean, I really got it on on these different um, the senses, the different senses of kinds of letting go and and downtime and the distinctions in them and how what they how they feel different for me. Yeah, so you that's realize, something I'd like to. Uh, you sorry? realize how how important this is. The next time you're sitting in the DMV, you've got something to play with. Isn't that fantastic? A new toy. <laughs> Imagine entertain yourself while you're waiting at the DMV forever. Here it is. Find your next dimensional shift in line. <laughs> thank you, Sensei. Uh, thank you. What? We've been at this quite a while. A lot of things should be re clarified. Uh, God over again because they're basics. Um, anything particular jumps in your mind here in the next moment about what we should go over again or what little part of this creation puzzle uh, we should try to clarify, clean up, whatever, whatever? I think we have Chris Williams from New Zealand, Sensei. Chris? Uh, I was just going to say um, I thoroughly enjoyed today's session. That was the clarity coming through and the experience from each different process um, and the characters that came forth as I, as you sort of go down and come out, each one, the easing, the clearing, the letting go and the, the dark and down produced distinctive characters coming out. They're all, and they were all different and had their own strengths and qualities, yeah. which was yeah, that, that seems, yeah, that seems important. I don't, uh, I'm trying to think of what I said, they said here. Um, as if, oops, semi blank, uh, so bear with me for a moment. But as if the different uh, travel vehicles, we could oh, put these in the category of travel vehicles, that this, uh, the, the uh, at first within manifest, the character because of the travel vehicles you're using uh, uh, would be, it's still you, but it would be altered by the form you used. Did I say that right? Yes. Yeah. So for example, if I were a singer, uh, Gina, bear with me. If I were a singer, I might prefer to use the uh, chanting form for my development, because a, a byproduct of it would be probably better singing. <laughs> yeah, no, maybe. <laughs> uh, TJ, are you on? I didn't see TJ. Yes, I did. Sorry, TJ yeah. had to go, Sensei. Oh, he had to go? Okay, he's busy. Uh, so yeah, that, that's important, Chris, that, uh, that these different forms show a little bit different mix 
EU. The words, the words. Yeah. yeah that's great. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I'll try to clarify that better. What do you think? I'm going blank now. Perfect. Perfect. I guess we're finishing. Are we finished? Yes, no, maybe. Hey. Hey. Thank you, Sensei. Hey. Thank you, people. Thank, Thank you. you, Nato Sensei, and good night, everyone. Thank you, Sensei. Thanks, sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sensei.